Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about 13, the musical. This is a Netflix musical, and it's based on a Broadway show. It's an unusual project to be made into a film because the show itself was not a very big hit. Yes, this musical has songs written by Broadway composer Jason Robert Brown, who is a fantastic composer, and I think he created a great score. It's a really lively score. It's it really is, yeah. In case you're unfamiliar with Jason Robert Brown, he is also responsible for writing the scores for major musicals like The Last Five Years, Parade, and the musical adaptations of The Bridges of Madison County and Honeymoon in Vegas. All of those are really good scores. He's oh, a really very, good very good composer and lyricist. And that's the reason to watch this. If you don't like musicals, don't even bother. Because the storyline couldn't be more trite. The performances, however, are very ingratiating. Everybody's good. It's led by an actor named Eli Goldman. And the entire cast is very pleasant. And the songs are very lively. Now, when they're not singing, the movie has a problem. But fortunately, they're singing all the time. The director, Tamara Davis, who knows her way around this kind of project, again, keeps it moving. And... That's all you can do with something like that. And in a very brisk 91 minutes, it's very painless. I would agree with that. And just to give you a quick summary of the plot, all of the characters in this movie are 13-year-olds who are kind of, you know, finding their own way and discovering except for, themselves. Except, except for a few except, adults. Except for Deborah Messing. Except for Deborah Messing, who plays the main character's mother. But yes, so the story focuses mainly on Eli Goldman's character. He is the son of two parents who are getting a divorce, and his mother moves back in with her mother, his grandmother, in kind of the middle of nowhere, Indiana, I think it is. And he's also Jewish, so he's preparing for his bar mitzvah in a town where there are no other other Jewish kids. And that's all he lives for is this big bar mitzvah party. Yes, yes. If you like musicals, there's some really, really good songs here. Really catchy songs and big, lively musical numbers. I thought it was fun. I think it's worth a watch if you like musicals. This is currently streaming on Netflix, and I would give this movie two and a half cylinders. I think I'd give this movie three cylinders. 13, the musical. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you with the movies. Bye.